After getting the gate panel set for the first of two spill gates at Placid Dam, we did experience uh, some small setbacks due to a couple of high water events. Uh, luckily, the impacts from those were just temporary in nature. Due to all the structural concrete that was completed in advance of those events, uh, there really was no damage to the installed work here at the dam and work has progressed since that time. The work is really focused on setting up all the ancillary components of that gate that was installed. You can see two large hydraulic cylinders have been installed. Those are gonna provide the lifting force for the gate uh, when it's put into operation. Also out on the primary spillway bridge, the hydraulic piping that will connect those cylinders to the hydraulic power unit in the control building, uh, those have been installed as well. The contractor's also been progressing on setting all the gate seals that allow that gate to seal up against the dam during operation and they're currently completing detailed work associated with those items. So the hydraulic power unit's been set here at Placid Dam inside the control building, and that hydraulic power unit is what provides all the pressure needed for the cylinders to operate that lift the gate. The process of installing that hydraulic power unit inside the control building was a really interesting procedure. It was a difficult lift uh, that required flying that hydraulic power unit into a very small opening inside the control building. Uh, but that's been completed. The hydraulic power unit is now connected up to the cylinders for the first gate. Another key milestone that's been experienced here at Placid is we've received delivery of all the maintenance stop logs that'll be used for all the future maintenance activities. Um, they're actually currently installed in the primary spillway and being uh, fit into the dam. Uh, they'll be able to be used for the future gate activities in the second gate area when the contractor moves over to the second gate. The contractors also received delivery of the emergency generator. Uh, this site will have full backup power to ensure that gate operations are reliable during storm events, even if even in the event of electrical outages. They're also underway with setting a large foundation where a control tower will be set. Infrastructure will be installed on that control tower to allow these gates to have communications back to where they'll be controlled in the Seguin office and other areas of GBRA.